eight children died from abuse or neglect in foster homes in Texas last year. That is, this has led the state to approve a new set of safety-related rules to more thoroughly screen potential foster parents. The Department of Family and Protective Services Council recently approved a long list of rules to reverse the alarming trend of children dying in foster care. Beyond existing requirements, which presently include interviews, a criminal background check of all adults in the household, and a home visit, the new rules include interviewing a family member who does not live in the prospective foster care home, two additional interviews with neighbors, clergy, school employees, or community members, interviews of all adult children of foster parents, a financial background check, and identifying major life-changing events or events that are a major disruption and can turn what was a good foster home into an unfit home for a child. Keith Howard, the state director of Arrow Child and Family Ministries, says that he welcomes these changes. Keith is both a foster parent and the director of a nonprofit that directly deals with foster placement. We want kids to be safe in our homes. We want it to be a good environment where all kids can thrive. Um, and I think the, the department, Department of Family and Protective Services, likewise, is looking to do the same thing. So there's been a number of suggestions and rule changes that have come down the pipe to better ensure that foster parents are screened more properly. Edna Zack, another foster parent and the president of the Amarillo Foster Parent Association, hopes that the changes won't discourage people from becoming foster parents. It may make it a little bit harder to get people to be foster parents or adoptive parents because it is a lot of work to go through. Although becoming a foster parent may not be easy, both Mr. Howard and Ms. Zack said fostering has changed their lives. You know, being a foster parent for me is just really opening our hearts um, and our home to love to love kids who need love during that season. Um, I've been doing it nine years and it's a totally a blessing to help these children that need a home. According to Paul Zimmerman from the Department of Family Protective Services, one child has died in the Amarillo area while in foster care. But fortunately, the new tougher rules to screen prospective foster parents will come into effect in September of this year.